every year, more than 200,000 Americans undergo weight loss surgeries. For most, the procedure is life-saving, literally. But this kind of surgery works dramatic changes to the body, and it can cause many unexpected effects. Today, a new study suggests a startling link between gastric bypass and increased odds of alcohol addiction. So, are patients getting thin only to become alcoholics? Here's ABC's Deborah Roberts. YouTube is full of confessions from people who've dropped weight through gastric bypass surgery, then found themselves drinking heavily. I start and I pour myself a glass of wine, finish it, and then a little more. When I woke up, I was still pretty drunk. You have to have an addictive personality to really become a morbidly obese person. Singer Carney Wilson was once the poster child of gastric bypass, once telling Oprah she was drinking up to 10 martinis a day following her surgery. I was getting drunk very fast, and I was getting sober very fast. And it was frightening. It was frightening. Andrew Kahn knows that feeling. After his bypass, he too felt himself losing control to alcohol. I started drinking, and it was the first time in my life that I was drinking heavily that I felt I didn't have control over myself. Now, a new study out today that may offer an explanation. According to the Journal of the American Medical Association, more than one in 10 gastric bypass patients have become alcoholics by two years after their surgery. So essentially what a gastric bypass does to alcohol is similar to why certain people would snort drugs so they'd get it more rapidly into their bloodstream. That's because the stomach is shrunk to roughly the size of an egg, limiting food intake and the body's ability to absorb calories. That also includes alcohol. So patients both feel the effects of the alcohol and also sober up quickly. One drink which may not have had any effect on you may have a very, very big effect on you following a gastric bypass. For many, life after weight loss surgery can be a troubled reality. My weight loss surgery was entirely done in vanity. In 2004, Beth Sheldon Bedore had her stomach reduced and went from 320 pounds to 160, half her weight. Her husband had it too and lost 200 pounds. But after the high of losing weight quickly, she began feeling let down, frustrated and regretful. Every day you get up and think, I'm just going to get on a scale again, and it just, you ride it. And then what happens when the honeymoon ends? Well, you, you're married. You're married to the surgery, and not all marriages work. Beth began blogging and soon realized her feelings post-surgery were common. What else do you hear from people that surprises you about this weight loss surgery? Addiction. Addiction, other than food. When? that period of time is over and you can no longer use food as your crutch, you've almost got to find something to fill that missing space where food was. Alcohol is rampant in our community. So alcohol becomes the addiction since it's easier to digest than food. If you can't swallow chicken, you can swallow wine. Until now, those struggling with the issue attributed it to something called addiction transference, a psychological rather than physical explanation. But that's always been a controversial theory, and today's study adds new fuel to the debate. I think it has to do with the fact that alcohol, which is already an addictive you know, drug, becomes more addictive when we alter your anatomy. All complicated by the fact that weight loss surgery is emerging as the most effective method for combating morbid obesity. It can be life-saving. There is no more effective treatment in medicine. They go into complete remission of their diabetes before they leave the hospital, before they've lost any weight. Bariatric surgeons say follow-up with patients, counseling and monitoring is key, but hasn't always been a priority in those early days, we probably didn't have the connection with the aftercare that we have now. Is that the biggest failing in weight loss surgery? The lack of emotional and psychological support? 100%, definitely. Any bariatric surgeon can take care of us here, but nobody touches this. Still Beth, like so many others she talks with online, says even knowing the risks, she'd do it all over again. Do you regret? Or are you mostly happy with this decision? I'm a success. It worked. The surgery did what it was supposed to do. For Nightline, I'm Deborah Roberts in New York. A fascinating and important linkage there. Thanks to Deborah Roberts for that.